give you a little break. Praise the Lord. Don't you love the Lord, everybody? Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Just say the name of Jesus and make you feel better. No. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Oh, Praise God. No, that, no, that's the truth. You know, it's a, you know, you can just say that name and just something about that name. And, and I don't mean that just to be saying it as a cliche, but there's something about it. Yeah, you know, I think often, Brother Dale, about that dream that you had and, and you, you tell that thing in Jesus' name and it say it back to you. Didn't it say back to you in Jesus' name? You know, it's it's one thing you can say in Jesus' name and all that, but we gotta believe in Jesus and who he is and what he does and what the Bible says about it. We gotta believe those things. You gotta put that faith like Chelsea says a lot of times, you gotta put that faith in action. Yeah. And I just I'm just so thankful that we can call on his name and he's he's always right there no matter what. Right. You know, no matter what you're going through, where you're at, or, or what, what kind of situation there is, you call on the name of Jesus, and he's right there. He's always on hand, so to speak. But I do. I love, I love the Lord. I just appreciate the Lord. I know we go through things. We have trials. We have all, you know, there's, there's troubles and tribulations in this world. But ain't it nice to know that you have a friend in Jesus? Yes, I mean, yes. and, and, all, and you can turn to yes, him, and he will help you. If you will let him, he will help you. If ever in any situation you go through, Jesus Christ will help you. Amen. And it's just, it's, you know, me and Brother Johnny have been talking about some things. And so many times, the things that I've went through, the trials and tribulations, you know, and, and it's been great. You know, it's been some great heavy trials that I've gone through. And then, and then I think back on them, and, and really, to be honest with you, I brought them on myself. You know, to be totally honest with you, a lot of them, it's over my actions and me jumping out there and doing things and making decisions. And, and I, I know, you know, there's a making in us. I, I ain't talking about the making or, or what God puts us through, but a lot of the times, looking back, it's things that I've done to myself, to Jesus. You know, and, and a lot of it is it's nothing Jesus done. It's a lot of it is the lack of me asking Jesus for that direction. Yeah. A lot of it is me making a decision or doing something or reacting before, you know, I decided to ask Jesus until I got in that trouble and then I called on him. Right. You know what I mean? I just, but I'm trying, I've been working on that part. You know, I try to, involve Jesus in everything that we do. You know, uh, last summer, or last, when Brother Johnny was up here when I got my truck, you know, I, I prayed about that truck for all, quite, quite a while, you know, about it going in the right direction. And we, and we spent some time in prayer about Renee buying her vehicle. And I just, every day, you know, when I get up, I just want to go to Jesus to, for everything that I do, Brother Dale, not just the big decisions, but the little decisions. You know, I just want to put him first. And I want to call on that name. It's, it's, we, we, we all say that name, and, and it's, it, I don't want it to be a cliche to me. I want it to have meaning, because there is meaning. When you say that name, it's, it's different than any name you say. It's a different phrase. It's just totally different when you say Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just, and I just, you know, I just praise the Lord for that. I thank Him so much for that. And I just, you know, I just want to implement it in my life to where, you know, everything I do, everything I do in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, like Brother Johnny speaks so many times, you know, I can't do nothing without Him. Right. You know, I can't put one foot in front of the other without Him. Right. And you think about, you know, I, I ain't, I ain't no better than anybody else, but God has given me a lot of, of, of ability with my hands to do things and build things and do things, but we still, we'll still make mistakes. Yeah. But God has bestowed abilities on us and gifts, yes, and not just the physical things, but just, you know, God just bestows upon us, you know, we're able to talk, we're able to to write, do do math and stuff like that, and it's it's because of His grace 
And, and, and Jesus is the reason we can do that. Yeah. You know, we could we could be just one little turn in that brain, just one little tick, and, and it could be a totally different situation. Right. You know, and there's Bible about that too. You know, there's Bible about them rulers that were smart, brilliant, and that one I can't think of his name right now, but just you know, it ended up becoming like an animal. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but. I can't think. But anyway, it's just one little trick tick in that brain and, and your life can be totally different. You know, it's so we're such a blessing that, that we know the name of Jesus and that, that we believe in it. Right. You know, I think so many times about the road and the way Chelsea and I was raised, and I say Chelsea too because she was raised the same way I was. We didn't know no better. But you know, thank God that that you know there was something in us, Jesse, searching for truth. Yeah. You know, we could have just accepted it like it was. Yeah. And when, and when uh, you know, when we heard that Jesus name preaching, we could have just, like we've heard so many times, well, just break in what you want and leave the rest out there. You're going to use that Holy Ghost. You know, we've heard that so many times. But I thank God that he put something in me, Brother Dale, that wanted me to search out that truth. Right. You know, and, and that, and that, that little, whatever you call it, that God puts in us when I was taught about the rapture growing up, even when I was a teenager, you know, I questioned a couple of things about it. I got kind of got scolded for, for questioning a pastor about it, but even then, you know, Jesus knew where I was at and he was working. You know, he, he knew my spirit wasn't satisfied with the answers I was getting. But he didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying Jesus didn't have to be like that. I didn't have to, to have that desire to, to seek him and to know who he really was. And when I read those scriptures, there's no one that something didn't quite add up on that, you know, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I've even had been taught a few times that there's four instead of three. I don't know if you ever heard that or not, but I have. I've heard, I've heard that. But, but I'm just so thankful, Brother Johnny, that, that Jesus put that in my spirit to search out that truth because so many people are, just don't believe it or don't even hear it. You know, I keep thinking about that vision God blessed me with. And, and even though it's really broke me and, and heavy and it, it's really done something to me, but, you know, I'm just so thankful that I'm not one of those people that just can't hear you or can't hear the warning, or don't hear what what the truth the truth is coming, just don't hear it. Just, hear, just flat out don't hear it. And I'm so thankful that he gave me ears to hear, and I don't want to miss something. From, you know, I, I just, we're so vulnerable in this world and in this flesh, because it, it just, and I, you know, things that I'm saying, I know it's been said, but, but the flesh don't really want to comply with the spirit. It don't really want to. You know, it's always seems like it ain't no wonder Paul called it a pressing way. Because it, 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 it you just the physical and the flesh part of you don't want to comply with what the spirit and, and sometimes you see that and you know that. You know the spirit is wanting you to go different or wanting you to react or do a certain way with the flesh. Man, it's, a, it's an unruly figure, but it's not in that, that flesh. You always got to buy that. That's right. And I'm just so thankful that, 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 you know, Jesus has given me a little bit, and all of us, really. We all, I mean, we all just, like we said last night, just rejoice that your name is written in the land of the book of life. You know, that's enough to be Amen. glorious to worship, you know, to worship Jesus about. It's that part. But it's just, it, it can be so different, and I'm so thankful that it's not. And I just, you know, just really pray and asking God if there's what I can do to convince others to have that ear that can hear the truth. Yeah. You know, that can hear that, that something will happen in them right. and, and, and wake them up. And not only the people that don't know in Jesus, the Jesus belief in the Jesus name and there's, and there's no rest, right? Not just them, but just like that vision I've seen, there's a lot of church people going off there. Going off that edge too. I mean, a lot of people you wouldn't think, yeah. Sister Chelsea, it just broke me because, you know, thinking they were okay, even I thought some of the people I've seen was okay. 
But I'm just, I'm just, and it, and it really, it kind of shook Renee up too because, well, you heard her testimony the other night. But I'm just so thankful that God's put something in my spirit to, to, to be hungry and thirsting after his righteousness. And I've got, and, and just because I know his name and I know who he is and I, and I know there's no rapture, just because I know the basics, there's so much more I want to know about truth, Brother John. There's so much more depth that I think we could be operating in. You know, I feel like we, like we're in Ezekiel, like the waters, you know, the water, I, just, I feel like we're not even close to being out there in waters to swim in. I don't, I, I, I just, I just wish, I hope and pray that I can do whatever it is, my spirit stays hungry and thirsty after the righteousness of God so that I can get to that point and I don't get satisfied with where I'm at and, and think, okay, I, I'm, I'm there, I'm okay. Now, now I'm okay, let me see if I can help somebody else. I don't want to be satisfied with where I'm at. I want to, I want to keep going, I want to go deeper, I want to get deeper in those waters like it talks about Ezekiel. Yeah. Not, I just I just want to keep that hunger and thirst That's like right. I was. You know, there was I had a hunger and thirst when I was searching for that Jesus name. You remember it, Chelsea, how we was fasting and praying. Yeah. But it seems like now that we know or me, it seems like now that I'm at that point, I've I've backed off on that hunger and thirst. Yeah. It's like, okay, now now I now I got that part. I understand that part. I, I, it seems like I've hit neutral. Yeah. And, and I don't, I want that drive back in. Amen. And I, I think that's part of what God done with me here last Sunday night. It, and I don't know how to describe that. I've never had something like that happen to me. Never, ever. It, it's how I just went down there in a simple prayer. And, and God just took me into a vision. And it was as real as, as I'm standing right here behind this Bible stand. It was that real, Brother Dale. And it just, it just, it, it really has troubled me. It vexed my soul, and it's, but it's given me an awakening. And, and I just, I, I can't get it out of my mind. And I just, I hope and pray that that, that hunger and that thirst after the righteous saints of God are rekindled. You know, I, I, I just, well, there's been a lot of talk about rekindling and, and staying connected to the source. And, I don't want to just talk about it, brother. I want, I want it to take action in my life. That's right. And I'm just so thankful that these meetings have went the way they went. Amen. You know, it was so ironic that Chelsea spoke the same night, Sunday night, I think before that, but she, she spoke and she said, you know, and y'all remember, y'all were here, she said, wouldn't it be something if we could come to the time and the days where we just had a meeting and revival would break out? Wouldn't it be something instead of scheduling a date, scheduling three or four nights or whatever, that we just come together on a regular meeting and revival would break out and we'd start having your services. And then that was on Sunday night and look what's happened. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't none of this been scheduled, Sister Jesse. You know, God discerns our thoughts and he knows the intent of our hearts. And God's a merciful God and he, and he loves us. Yeah. And he'll give you the 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 end to the he'll discern your thoughts and the intent of your heart and he'll give you the things that you desire. Right. The yes. spiritual things he will come through for you. He'll help you. Thank you Jesus. And I just hope and pray that we can keep that hunger and thirst and keep that fire kindled and stay connected to the source that I was connected with right over there in prayer Sunday night. That's the source that I want to stay connected to. And I just appreciate these services. I'm so thankful that that we went on with. and, and I, I just I appreciate God's people and I'm just I, I'm anxious I'm looking forward to, to what's coming I, I mean I, I don't know there's just there's just been a kindling in my soul it's like stoking a fire up you know it just seemed like something that stuck my fire up and I, <laughs> I, I'm happy for that and I'm thankful that, that we're having these extra services and, and, and hope and pray that people can get help and people can get rekindled again and fall.